Hi, this is Carl Bostrom. I'm an applications engineer with Bosch Rexroth, and today I'd like to introduce the soft motion drive interface from National Instruments and how to use that with our InterDrive C or InterDrive CS servo drive. Conceptually, the soft motion drive interface from National Instruments consists of a framework which is standardized code from National Instruments itself, together with a plugin from Bosch Rexroth. And this framework allows the soft motion motion kernel to communicate directly to our InterDrive C or InterDrive CS servo drive over EtherCAT COE. Uh, the hardware that we're using today includes the CRIO 9064 real time controller together with a Bosch Rexroth InterDrive C, uh, and we'll be using EtherCAT COE to have a real-time connection between the two devices. And the purpose of all of this is to move the motor here. Let's review the software that we'll be using today. If we open up NIMAX, We can see that I have LabVIEW 2016 installed together with the FPGA package, the NI Soft Motion package, the real time package, as well as the communications for EtherCAT package installed. We also have the corresponding modules. Uh, installed on our device itself. So this is the CRIO 9064. Uh, in particular, we have the soft motion module together with the EtherCAT communications module installed. We'll also need to install the SDI plugin from Bosch Rexroth. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to use the VI package manager. If you go to the search bar here and enter Bosch, B-O-S-C-H, you'll see our uh, available packages. In this case, we want to install the SDI plugin. Uh, select it, right click, and then click on install. Agree to the terms. Okay, and you can see that the plugin has been installed with no errors. If we now go to the block diagram, we can see that the SDI Bosch Rexroth palette is available. It consists of two VIs, an open VI and an SDI framework VI. And we'll go over the use of these two VIs later in the video. Before we can begin to do any programming in LabVIEW, we will need to configure both the CRIO controller as well as the drive itself to accept EtherCAT as the real-time communication bus. Let's begin by configuring the CRIO device. Uh, in this case, I'm assuming that I've already made a connection to the device itself over Ethernet. If we open up NIMAX, and I look at my remote systems, I can see in the network settings that I have EtherCAT selected as the adapter mode for Ethernet adapter ETH1. Next for the drive itself, we can configure the real-time port by opening up our commissioning software which is called Interworks DS. Interworks DS is free software that you can download from the internet. If you go to BoschRexroth.com, you'll find it there. Select Interworks DS. And again, I've made a physical Ethernet connection between my PC and the engineering port of the drive. This port is always labeled X26. Uh, on some of the drives, it's at the front panel. On other drives, it's actually underneath the drive itself. But once I've made that physical connection, I open up Interworks DS, click on the Network Search tab, select the adapter that I've used to make that physical Ethernet connection, and click Browse. The software should find the drive, regardless of the IP address of the drive itself. Make sure that Connect is checked here, and click OK.
Now I have connection to the drive. If I come up here to master communication, I need to make sure that the active protocol is set to EtherCAT COE. So this is CAN application protocol over EtherCAT. And I need to verify that in the settings, I have the CIA402 drive profile selected as active. This is configured automatically by the software once we've selected EtherCAT COE. Once you've made those selections, click reboot and the drive will reboot with EtherCAT as the active protocol. Once that's done, you can remove the connection to the engineering port. We won't need that anymore to do soft motion programming. So with the hardware configured, we're ready to begin programming in LabVIEW. Let's open up LabVIEW. I'm just going to begin a blank project. The first thing we need to do is to add our real-time controller, select new, targets and devices. In this case I have a C-Rio device. It's found my control. I select it and click OK. I want to use the scan interface. And at this point I should be able to make a connection to the control in LabVIEW. I'm going to cancel out of this for now. The next thing we have to do is to add the EtherCAT master to the system. So again, right click on the device, select new, targets and devices, and add my EtherCAT master. In this case, because my drive has been configured, with the EtherCAT protocol, the master has already included uh, my drive in the system. So I already have my drive here. Uh, in this case, the MPC firmware refers to the fact that I have an advanced Indra drive. The next thing we'll do is to add a soft motion access to the system. Right click on the device, select new, and soft motion axis. Add new axis. By default, it will add the new axis to the device that it found in the previous step. So now I have a soft motion axis associated with my Indra drive. There is a bit of configuration that we have to do in the soft motion axis. So if you right click on the axis and select properties, we will have to set the feedback rate on the encoder. So by default, we want to set this value to 1000 and the units that we're using in this case is degrees. So it means we have a resolution of 1,000 counts per degree in our default scaling. Everything else for the moment in this axis configuration you can leave uh, as default. Click OK, and this is the basic configuration we need to do soft motion with the Ender Drive. Now the easiest way to get started with using the soft motion palette is to look through some of the examples provided by National Instruments on their help page. So if you go to Help on the main menu and click Find Examples, you'll find a large number of LabVIEW samples provided by NI. In this case, we're going to look at the Toolkits and Modules folder, and then Soft Motion and Express VIs. From Single Axis, look at the Axis Straight Line project. So I've taken a copy of this Axis Straight Line .vi and placed it in my local folder of my test project here. So I'll add that copy now to my project. Access Straight is just a copy of the VI here that's placed in the uh, program files directory. So now I'll be able to edit a VI here without changing the example that's given in the main installation. So I can close this project and then I can close the example finder dialog. And then if I look at the block diagram of this sample code. There are just a few changes I need to make to this sample to get this to run with the Intra drive. The example is given for a simulated axis, uh, so there are a few changes that we need to make. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just delete this resource, and this will get replaced by our soft motion axis. And then there are a few VIs that we need to add. These are all from our SDI palette, so we'll need an example. Uh, copy of this open VI and then we'll need two copies of the soft motion set plug-in mode VI. One at the beginning of our program and then another at the end. So 
So we'll just place them there like that. And then the other thing that we'll have to add is a reference to our soft motion axis. So we'll do this from the NI soft motion palette. And we want to add a motion axis. And in this case, we want to select axis one, which is the soft motion axis associated with our inner drive here. We can begin to connect this up. I'm going to just remove this wire. I'll place these VIs sort of in line like so. Then I can connect the error path and my soft motion axis becomes the input to my open block. And the base output from the open block becomes the input to the set mode block. So what this second block does is to help us change the mode of the scan engine. So I'll create a constant here. And in this case, we want to set the scan engine to active mode. At the back end of the program, we'll set the scan engine back to configuration mode. Connect the error path for the mode input. Again, we'll create a constant. But this time, we'll set that constant to configuration mode. And then the base axis reference comes back to the previous block. And then the other thing that we'll have to do is connect the resource that we deleted before back to the soft motion axis itself. The other thing that's missing at this point is that we're not turning drive power on and off. So before we can actually run, move the motor, so actually execute a straight line move, we need to energize the motor. And we do that with the power VI, again from the soft motion palette. So go to vision and motion, soft motion, express VI, VI and power. We can add that power block here, and then again. We'll add another block here. So we'll be turning power on uh, in the first block, and then after the move is done, we'll turn the power off. So at this point, we begin to connect up our soft motion reference and our error path. Uh, and then we have to enable both the axis and the drive here, the first step. So we'll just add a constant, set that to true, and we'll enable both the axis and the physical drive together. And then the same thing at the back end, this time setting both to false. Connect up our error path here as well. So uh, we're error free now. We should be able to run this. Uh, and when we do, we should see the drive, uh, the scan engine change from configuration mode. Uh, in this case, the drive will show P0 in configuration mode to active mode, in which case the drive will show AB, which means that the drive is ready for motion. And then after that, we should see the drive energize and then the motor move. So let's try to run this. So the scan engine mode is changing. We switch to AF. Uh, the motor moves, and then we switch back to configuration mode. There is an additional sample code found in the help section. If you go to help, find examples, and then under the search tab, if you search for Bosch Rexroth, you'll find a project called SDI Plugin Bosch Rexroth Intra Drive Example. This project contains additional sample code to get you started.